Oh boy. Hello everyone. Oh. I don't know if it's easy to tell. Not as let me move the mic. Not as excited as I was for the previous ones. I had a weird day. And I think GeoGuessr is going to fight me today. I'm just going to get really bad ones, but yeah, GeoGuessr Friday, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I know I've mentioned this before, but I have very bad luck when things are uh, dealing with holidays and machinery breaking down. Now, arguably, these are problems that maybe could have been prevented with preventative maintenance, but... Uh, let me just start from the beginning. Uh, let me look at this real real quick. So, I am right about to get a new vehicle. And the one I have now, loved it. Great car. Really happy with my purchase of it. Um, back when I got it inspected a couple of months ago, the uh, mechanic said, Hey, just so you know... Um, you're going to need to fix your exhaust at one point. However, since I have a fancy exhaust, it's going to end up costing $1,000 to replace the whole thing. And since my mentality was, this is New Mexico, okay. Route 28, New Mexico. My mentality being, well, I'm going to get a new car soon. I am not going to dump $1,000 into this car hopefully by the time it's uh time to get a new one uh i will have uh purchased my new car between now and then east 226 what was this uh junction of 36 well okay 28 what happened right here's 220 here's 28 was uh today actually 226 okay we're heading what direction east on 226 okay we are like right there i think las cruces is uh that direction and can new T.O. is that way. Okay. Anyway, sorry. So, uh, I had it all planned out like a month or two ago. All right. I'm going to wait for this next paycheck to come, which is going to be on the uh, 10th of this month, and then I'm going to get a new car. Well, what ha happened today was I... Uh, no, yesterday, I uh, went over a bump, and my muffler went from... Mm to the I'm like, well, fucking great. Um, well, I don't want to drive this thing anymore, and hopefully, I can have this last until uh next week. Well, um, couldn't last a day. My muffler rotted off to the point where it's dragging behind my car, and it's doing even more of the like back in the '90s. You paid five hundred dollars to have a muffler that made that noise. Now you just I have a muffler that rots off and then it eventually makes that noise. So uh I get the car home. I'm like, all right, let's uh see if I can um maybe finagle a thing just so it can hold me until next week when I'm ready to go go. And I'm talking to the mechanic who usually get the done the, the work done. He's like, Yeah, honestly, if I could slapdash something together now and then trade it in it's actually not going to make any... I'm not putting any points down because it's going to be a terrible place next time. It's not going to make any difference in trade-in value. And you're just going to end up... This is cool. This is probably Italy, I think. You're just going to end up like spending a lot of money when you really don't want to for really no benefit whatsoever. So it's kind of like, all right, well, I'm not... Off of his suggestion, I'm not really going to bother putting any more money into this car because I'm getting a new one. I'll just wait it out. But the car made the decision for me. I, uh, oh, well, 
Mr. Mr. Becker. Meister Bacher. Give me a country. You didn't. Is this sign going to tell me something? Like, I feel I know the Groter joke. Austria, I think. Vilnos. Anyway, I, but I've had a history of, uh, this is amazing looking, by the way. I've always, I've had a history of running into these issues. Always on holidays of some sort. SS242. We on the border with uh, Italy here, I think, and uh, Austria. Perhaps SP, SP29. And uh, it just reared its head again today. So now I saw the car. I know what I want to get. Tomorrow, I'm going to uh, the dealership and getting said car. Now, um, just I'm going to do a eulogy for my car now. I mean, it's, it's, it's always a crapshoot, honestly, when you're... Uh, I can't find this. I can't find this S... P anywhere and it's driving me nuts. I mean, this is Aus it's it's Austria, isn't it? I feel, but I can't I can't find the stupid SP thing anywhere. It's always an issue. You really don't want to get a lemon, um, because it j it just becomes a huge sinkhole. You're just throwing money at it and money at it and money at it, and it's just frustrating. But thankfully, I didn't have that issue at all with my car. I'm very happy with how it turned out. Volkswagens had a pretty good track record with them so far. Is it farther up here? I mean, I'm not seeing SS12. I'm just looking in this area. Like, I'm not, I'm kind of not paying attention anymore just because. I have this issue also whenever, like, machinery doesn't work like I think it should. I just get super frustrated, and I'm like, it's machine, machine work. Why not work? You have one job. You're not doing it. Everything sucks, and I just kind of mope a bit. And then I hate that I do it, and why does this road end right at the border? I mean, I feel like I've got it, but I'm not finding that SS thing anywhere, and it's kind of concerned me a bit. But let's just move back. Maybe I'll see a, a sign somewhere that'll help me. But I only had one real thing I ever needed to fix in my car. Got that done. I didn't want to be down here, but okay. Uh, timing chain had to get fixed in at once. That was a very big money. I don't. Autobahn Autostrada A22. This isn't helping me. Where's the A22? What country is A22? Is it Germany? Oh, it was more in Italy. Okay. I was close. I'm not gonna put a thing down. And, uh, yeah, honestly, my dad had, uh, Volkswagens. A Volkswagen Fox. He was a, uh, salesman. And he would travel all over the place, put 300,000 miles on a Volkswagen Fox. This thing, he he got his money's, money's worth out of it. Uh, not Only one door worked. I think I've talked about this before. Only one door worked. If you wanted to get in the back, gotta crawl through the front. The lumbar, the back support part of the car, the driver's seat, um, excuse me, broke. Put a tire back there to hold it up, and then eventually just welded it, welded it into place. It was a smoker for a very long time, so I had nicotine stains all over the top of it. But those cars, Volkswagens, uh, ran forever, except the Passat. Uh, that didn't do so well. And it's kind of funny when you think about it. Um, I'm sure that one of you people listening right now is like, oh, you like Volkswagens? My family has had the worst luck with them every time. They've always broken down, fallen apart. And um, I'm the exact, you're probably like, oh, our family loves Chevys. And I'm like, well, Chevrolet, that's a fancy looking rooster. Did, uh, they were fantastic for you? Not for me. Fell apart every time I used them. 
I mean, I talk about Volkswagen used to be amazing, but Passat, I had, nope, terrible car. Overheated all the time. So now I know all Volks, well, Volkswagen, Fox, and Jetta, good. Passat, no, I haven't tried Beetles. Or uh, Tuareg, or however the hell it's pronounced. This is India. I don't think this is India. I really think I've got the, I think I've got the country down. I'm probably, like, I'm not seeing any national flag anywhere. I'm feeling, like, Buddhist. It's got that look to it. I mean, the language I can't really make out, because, I mean, it's kind of blurry. It's very blocky. This is kind of sandy road, which makes me feel closer to the coast. I'm going to, like, click down here, because, honestly, I don't know. Getting closer to town, maybe I'll see a, a flag or something. So, uh, plans just got, well, not uprooted. I'll just buy it sooner than I wanted to. Um, yeah, there was a time, um, I had a really bad abscess tooth from football. Happened right over Thanksgiving. Had to call a guy in on the Thanksgiving break to, uh, drill a hole in my tooth. Um... Let's see what else. I mean, that's all. I, that's all I can think of right now because I'm just flustered. Everything in my head. If you just had like a microphone in my head, it's just saying "fuck this, fuck that." Why? Why isn't it working? God damn it! Everything. It just just work. Work until I need you to not work anymore, and then do whatever you want. And it's just, it's very irrational. Oh wait, wait. Here we go. I saw a flag. Um, I've had this problem before. Um, I've had this problem before. It's a, it's a school. That flag, it seems like the colors are not the ones they should be. I don't think it's Cambodia. It's not Thailand. Is it Myanmar? I'll click there and regret my choice when it turns out to be Cambodia because that flag right over here will probably unfurl and tell me, you know, it's the same one. Probably a pro eh, it was Cambodia fucking every time. I got a problem getting that stuff mixed up. It's 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 something I, I need to remedy. I like this quaint little road here. This is nice. But when I got here, I was just like, ugh, I got all these things I gotta do, but then I thought, well, I still need to record one of these things, and maybe cathartic's the wrong word, but it's 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 a good distraction, because as soon as this is over, I'm going to render it, edit, whatever you want to call it, upload it, all that fun stuff, and, uh, rural support area, okay, that, I don't know where this is, it's like, New Zealand? England? I don't know. Yeah, weird TV. An unrecognizable set of yeah, chickens. But yes, yeah, it's a good little thing just not to think about for 20 something minutes. And then clean out my car. Get the golf clubs out. Get that golf, one of my golf shoes out. The other golf shoe belongs to somebody else and I need to mail it to them. That I haven't seen in 10 years that shoe's been in my car for that long i've had the car for a while doesn't have that many it's like 125,000 miles on it doesn't have as many miles on it as i thought it would okay sign signage yeah i think this is new zealand i get the islands wrong i'm just gonna click the southern island just because it's the bigger of the two and hopefully I get it right. I have not had a very good track record with New Zealand options. Okay, yeah. I just need to see a, another vehicle on the road that I can, like, confirm something I already know because I'm pretty sure this is New Zealand. Unless their driving wheel is on the wrong side of the road, which I don't think it's going to happen. All right. I think... Like, I've not even seen a high... This is... Pretty cool. Like, I like the way this place looks. Very nice scenic views. Very hilly. 
lots of valleys. I like this house. I just want to go back and look at it. Kinda. It's just kinda... I mean, it's not out of the way, because this is a pretty okay road. Granted, erosion might be an issue in a couple of years, but... It doesn't seem to get used all that often. It'd be fun to drive on, though. Give me... That's a lot of sheep, buddy. Probably got a smell to it. I probably should have gone back and looked at that truck, but I didn't. I feel I've got it right. Though there were palm trees there, and that concerns me a bit. I saw palm trees. There's palm and pine trees here, which is quite the juxtaposition. I wouldn't expect one to be there. But this, this is like... Uh, make a choice. Am I feeling... I, I don't know yet. I can't... This doesn't feel like coastline in any way. But this is windy as hell. I don't think it's a highway of any kind, because... This is just kind of like a road in the middle of the country. And I'm not getting anything. Other than really nice views. It's relaxing. I would have loved to take a car and drive on this. I'm sure the Google Maps guy had a friggin' field day with this. Ooh, windy and shit. It's great. Oh, well, we're on the North Island. Well, I got I got the country right. One more to go. The Royal Navy, huh? Um, I wonder what country this is. The problem is, you are big country. No camping. So where are we? This is a museum. There should be a sign. Or is this an Air Force base? Um, I need to get over here and look for a sign. Information doesn't help me. Get me to this intersection. Breen Park. It's almost like this is abandoned. Where the hell is this? It's an Australian air and space. There we go. Well, wherever Woomera is, I don't know where Woomera is. Woomera. It's found to Woomba. That doesn't help me. Woomera. Like I'm just seeing, I'm just seeing it there, I'm, but nothing is helping me here. Like, is this like a famous Australian location I just don't know about? Australian Government Department of Defense. It's a test range, huh? Uh, would they have a test range kind of like in the middle of nowhere? I just, like, I need a highway sign here, like, because I'm just seeing... Woomera doesn't help me. I've said that so many times now. Get me... Out of here so I can actually, like... Okay. This is... I'm feeling, since it's a test area... <clears throat> excuse me. It's going to be away from civilization. And... I don't think it'll be on the coast. So I'm just looking a bit, kind of like around the interior a bit, because, like I said, they're not going to have a test range near civilization in any way, but close enough where, like, yeah, you're you're stationed out here that people aren't going to hate it. Hmm, Woomera. Look at that. I found you. I found you. Oh my god, I didn't think this was going to happen. Let me hit home. This is crazy. I just happened to see that. Get me over here to the uh, theater. I need to find the theater. 
It's probably next to rock. Oh, yeah. All right. Um. Hey, look. Okay. It was there. So I think we're here. Let me hit the button. I think this is the best I'm ever going to get at an Australian G. I mean, how? How? How was I going to? I got real lucky that I just happened to see Woomera there. And this this almost feels like a manufactured town that they felt they needed to put something here. Where's the test testing, whatever you want to call it? Firing range. Like I know I got five thousand here. I'm I'm so amazingly confident. This has lightened my spirits so much with this. I'm so happy I got this. This I'm five starring this. This is for everything. Um, I'm a little disappointed with that one. I could have done much better, but overall, pretty good round. And just like with everything, it seems awful in the beginning, but it always does seem to find a way to work itself out. So if you don't take any other advice from me today, if shit happens that you don't want or don't expect, just relax. It may be bad now, but eventually it finds a way to uh, work itself out. And, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching, folks. Hopefully by Monday, I'll have all my issues figured out, and maybe you will, too. Enjoy the weekend, folks. Um, if you could, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Tell me if you ever have other issues like I do where everything mechanical or just weird happens on holidays or weekends when it's real inconvenient to find a way to fix the problem. But until then... Have a good day, folks. We'll see you next time.